In mere months, more than 30 candidate vaccines for COVID-19 have entered human trials. Given that most vaccines take years to develop and then even more years to test, how can we be sure that the first COVID-19 vaccine is good enough? To be approved by the FDA, all vaccines must pass through several phases of clinical trials. And the same goes for a COVID-19 vaccine. After being developed and tested in preliminary animal studies, a vaccine will enter phase one trials, wherein the vaccine will be tested in about 20 to 100 individuals. At that point, trial investigators are looking for any side effects associated with the different doses, which could include mild soreness and inflammation at the injection site, which would be acceptable. But if, for instance, a high dose garners a high fever or fainting or any severe side effects, that would not be considered acceptable. Once a vaccine passes the phase one safety tests, it can move on to phase two trials, which includes several hundred participants who will still receive different doses of the vaccine. At this phase, the investigators are looking for how the immune system responds to different doses of the vaccine, namely whether the body generates high levels of antibodies that can latch onto the coronavirus and either disable it or direct immune cells to attack the virus. If a vaccine prompts a strong immune response in phase two, it can then move on to phase three trials, which can include anywhere from hundreds to tens of thousands of people. For a COVID-19 vaccine, we'd hope for thousands to tens of thousands to capture a representative sample of everyone who would need to receive the vaccine. To pass phase three trials and ultimately be approved by the FDA, a COVID-19 vaccine will have to show at least 50% efficacy, meaning that a group of vaccinated people, when compared to a group of unvaccinated people, should have about half the chance of catching the virus. Now, in reality, vaccine developers are aiming much higher than 50% efficacy. This is simply the bare minimum. But even a vaccine that only granted 50% efficacy would cut down on the number of infections drastically and help to control the spread of COVID-19 within communities. Especially during these large phase three trials, when people can potentially become exposed to the virus, investigators will be looking out for any signs of ADE which is antibody-dependent enhancement. This is a strange phenomenon where a vaccine or prior exposure to a virus can actually leave the body vulnerable to worse infection if it becomes exposed a second time. We see this pattern with dengue fever, for example. ADE-like effects have cropped up in past animal studies of other coronavirus vaccine candidates that never made it to market. These were for other related coronaviruses that infect animals and the SARS-CoV virus, which cause outbreaks of severe acute respiratory syndrome in humans. Because of these animal studies, scientists are definitely looking out for these sorts of symptoms in human subjects taking COVID-19 vaccines. Once a vaccine passes phase three trials, it can then be approved by the FDA and enter phase four, also known as post-market surveillance. This is where an approved vaccine can be distributed more widely and investigators watch for rarer side effects that might crop up as the vaccine reaches more and more people. For example, the rotavirus vaccine has been linked to a slightly increased risk of a certain intestinal disorder, which causes the intestines to fold in on themselves. A 2014 study linked the vaccine to about 15 extra cases of this disorder per 1 million vaccinated infants. Such a rare occurrence might not crop up in phase three trials, which only includes several thousand patients. But experts know that the benefits of the vaccine still outweigh this very small risk. The road to a COVID-19 vaccine could potentially be shortened by shortening the length of phase three trials, which typically takes several years to conduct. It could also be shortened by combining several phases at the same time in what are known as combined trials. Even once the first COVID-19 vaccine is approved, we might see several rounds of vaccines coming out as we improve upon the immune response that they elicit and also optimize different formulations for different groups of people in the population.